so now I now I can. And by doing the move on a regroup, I've even sort of accomplished this in a sense, a very efficient free move over there to claim the guy. Yeah, I see the little golden icon there, also with my elephant. Yeah, it's kind of, that's redundant, in fact. It's just there for, we, at first, we actually were going to make them flexible where you could build the horses, but we found it was too, too much, people were creating horse factories, so we just decided that they also have the name of the city on them. But the picture is just was so cute, we didn't want to get rid of it. So there's what we see. Anyway, regroup done and uh, last card. Last card, last card. No. What you got? Oh, Mercury! Yeah. And another, another bad idea here is saving this card till the end, where I was hoping to go for an attack, but coming out of wintering. Uh, it really limits my ability to be able to do an attack into a wintering city, so... Well, yeah, but don't forget you get to regroup if you, you know... I mean, uh, where are you thinking right now? Because you well, probably get... Utica. Attacking from Utica to my to my guys there? Yep. Yeah, that's a good move. I mean, if you've got four solid guys... Yep. Yeah. And you can get... Now, wait a minute. You, you can only get four up the road there. But but the Mercury card is going to let you do something that you couldn't otherwise do, which is get a another guy down and around. Okay. And he'll be a reserve. Um, but you can do it. He'll arrive in your second round. So pick your best four. Your best four for the first stack, and then your other guy <laughs> comes down and around. Hmm. Although... I'll warn you, wait a minute, just think this through for another second. If you abandon Utica, I'll sail in. So. Sure. I mean, no, you should do the attack, and just don't leave it empty. I've got a boat, right? A boat out here in the water. And a boat can't, can't defeat one of your real blocks if you leave something real, but... Hmm... I think you should do it. I think if if you got the elephant and you've got anything else good, I know at least there's a legion there. I don't know what else you got actually. A couple guys who shipped away. Are they weak still? Are they? They're what? Yes, <laughs> they're still weak. Um. Okay. Um. Another thing you can do that's kind of cool is one, two, three from from Antioch. You could move the guy all the way over to Ephesus. I don't know. One turn. And then he'll be there to build guys next year. You've got a guy that lives in Ephesus and you want to get building. So. How does he get across over there? Oh, I, I see through the uh, the side roads there. Yeah, three spaces. Don't you wouldn't want to move over. Probably. You could, but... And that just adds another little bit more pressure to make sure that... Yeah. If you move them both, though, you Antioch becomes vacant, right? So, okay. Yeah. And that's all, but that's all you're doing, no building, so... What about your overwintering problem in, in uh, Utica? One too many blocks in there coming up. Yeah. Is that... Is one of them sort of dispensable? Yes. And... In both senses, like they're, they're not not uh, easy to rebuild as well. Well, uh, that that card, the Mercury card, only lets me move one group. Right. So it's either. Um, I know. I understand. Yeah. I understand. Yeah. Okay. But I'm I'm asking you within within what you got in Utica. Yeah. Those five blocks. If you had to lose one of them. Yep, I wouldn't be too upset. Okay. And it would be rebuildable. It's not a Taraco guy or something. It's hard to get back. Um, that's where that's where it yep, hurts. Like a few good. But it's it's still. I mean, it might be the only choice to make. But it okay. se seems like the best choice to make this time. So. Uh, two for me. Um, I'm happy there. Happy there. I want to build there. 
Uh, attack and then create a boost. Though, but that was just there it is. Four guys. So, and we'll just. Move over to Byzantium. And. So go over. Okay, spot, I guess. Um. Pretty happy there. I think I'm just going to let my second move go. Alright, two builds. Definitely one of my major plans here is to build... Where'd he go, where'd he go? The dude that lives here, in Byzantium, and the dude that lives there in Toledo. I'm mean, playing the, you know, for the whole game, I'm always trying to get blocks going. Yes. Alright. Discarding. Winter time. Um, I'm sending this boat home to that port. Oh, you could have even six blocks in Utica. You could have sent the boat home first. Oh, no. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you lose two boats. Uh, boats are not a big deal to lose in a sense because they're they're. I mean, it's not good, but they're not. They're kind of easy to replace. I'm still not sure if I understand the full meaning of losing a unit from Taraco. Okay, well, if you lose him. You're only going to be able to bring him back if you go and sit on Taraka with something else. Ah. Uh. Which means, and that doesn't, that's just not the end of the world, but it means that you have to open up a Spanish campaign, in a sense, before you'll have... Right. It's right in the middle of a big mess there. I can definitely yeah. see the issue well, there. Yeah, I mean, that's just, it's another layer to it. You know, normally you just lose the worst guys. You lose the C2s instead of the C3s or something, right? But but here you might have one more layer to sink to the sinking. If if you could lose a guy from Alexandria right now, you'd lose him because he's easy to build back. Yep. So if I lose a guy from Utica, it's really not a big deal because that's I've got right. Utica. As long as I bring him back quickly. But if, if I face the possibility of losing him, losing Utica, then I could have trouble losing a Utica if unit. Given that choice right now, if, if if the Utica guy is also unless he's like three steps or something and making that choice feel awful, I would I would lose him and keep the Tarako guy for that exact reason. Yeah. Right. That exact reason. That makes perfect sense now. It's it's a big part of the game. You need to, you need to be aggressive about denying the other guy. Um are options to keep an army to build it to build it back. I mean, when I if I defeat you in Spain, I want it to be permanent if I can. And and it's in this game because of the ships, the fluidity of the, of the you can just ship guys from coast to coast uh, all the time. And so Spain is never locked up. Right. You know, right. It's, it's not like I'm ever going to have it locked up. But I have it more locked up if if I've gained the advantage of not only owning victory points there, but I've kind of effectively knocked four or five of your blocks out of play for a while until you not only you have to, you know, come and kick me out of there right. without the blocks and then, and then you can build them if you can get them. If so I can keep it too, but like, like you said it's completely surrounded by your guys there, so that's tough. Yeah. All those layers um mean that the choice for you now, I think, is pretty clear. I would lose the Utica guy. <laughs> yeah, I did. And the 